so at the, at the risk of putting you on the spot, how do you see this playing out then? Uh, badly. I, 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 again, I, I think I would love to be wrong on this, but I am concerned that this escalation, uh, this continuation, escalation in terms of commitment, escalation in terms of armaments, taking actions that are clearly provocative and poking the bear, so to speak, in terms of uh, NATO, uh, Sweden and, and Finland, um, continuing to impose new rounds of sanctions. Interestingly, for the last several years, you mentioned weaponizing the dollar. Um, the, the U.S. and the West, what really with the U.S.'s pressure, has been using SWIFT, the interbank payment messaging system, uh, as another tool in the arsenal, in the, in the sanctions arsenal. Now, the majority of financial flows around the world are done are made in U.S. dollars. And the majority of them are done through SWIFT. In uh, 19, excuse me, in 2014, again after the Crimean War, Russia, China, India, and others saw what the U.S. had been doing, increasingly using SWIFT, which should be a neutral uh, pipeline, right, to, to allow one party to communicate with another, uh, no, no loyalties at all, but turning SWIFT into a, a tool of war. The problem with that has been that uh, China, Russia have been working pretty diligently over the past decade to create their own alternative payment systems, messaging systems. They've had some success, certainly not going to replace SWIFT today, but we're creating these significant motivations for China, for Russia to realign away from the, the, the U.S., away from Western financial institutions. I am answering your question, believe it or not. I'm saying, how is it going to end? I think what we are doing, however the war itself specifically ends, which doesn't look great for Ukraine at the moment, but you know, this is something we'll, we'll watch. The bigger picture here is it's going to end badly because the collection of all of these actions, these sanctions, uh, fin using the financial tools as, again, instruments of war, these are not going to endear Ch uh, Russia to us. They're not going to endear China to us. They're not going to make them feel, wow, I really miss being part of the Western family. I want to come home. Okay. Rather, they are pushing them into a strange bedfellow of an alliance. Uh, pushing them further and further away from from the U.S. and thus from from U.S. influence and from uh, from the from the influence of the dollar. It's not going to happen overnight. It's clearly happening. That is detrimental to U.S. interests. It is detrimental to to the dollar. Uh, the dollar re remains strong for the moment for all sorts of, of reasons, but uh, it's a long term negative. Yeah, and that point has actually been made by a number of guests on this show saying that weaponizing the dollar is ultimately going to damage its status as the sole global reserve currency, that this is really going to backfire in a very bad way 